Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be getting into something mysterious that happened over here at this location in Fallout 76. As you can see, the location is called National Radio Astronomy Research Center. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is always greatly appreciated. As always, though, that's totally up to you. But yeah, let's go ahead and head on inside this place and get into all of this. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this place just so there's no disturbances when I'm showing you these mysterious things. Alright, so I think that about covers all the enemies. Now let's go ahead and get into these things. The first one I'm going to be showing you will be located up at the third floor. A way to get up there quickly is just going over here to this stairwell and heading up the stairs to the third floor. And on the third floor here, you just want to enter this room right here. And we can find a hollow tape that's titled Something's Up. Let's go ahead and listen into this. This is the first mysterious thing. There's some weird shit going on here, man. What are you talking about? I know we just started our internship here, but I can already tell there's something off about this place. Like what? I heard a couple of the full-timers talking about some off-the-wall stuff. And... Wait, are you recording this? What the fuck, man? What's going on? You were told to keep your head down and do your research, Jonathan. Wait, who are they? We need you to come with us, Jonathan. Yeah. Very interesting. And if you notice, the people who were responding to Jonathan Wajowski, their names were kept unknown. However, Jonathan's name was above the uh, text dialogue. I don't know also if his name was supposed to be a little nod to Monsters, Inc., as in Mike Lazowski, because the Wajowski part does seem kind of similar. But either way, this is something interesting. I'm not exactly sure what Jonathan knew and wasn't supposed to be saying, but obviously it was something top secret. You can also find the research center key on this desk that you found the holotape, which this is used to just unlock a door in this facility. And you're not missing out on too much going inside this room that it unlocks. You can find a safe in here though that you can loot. Anyways, back to the interesting things that you can discover in this place. Starting from where we left off, where we found that holotape. This next mysterious thing that I'll be showing you in here is the emergency order A19 that you can find. This will be located down on the second floor. And I will say there's multiple copies of the emergency order A19 around this facility. However, this one has something different on it than all the others. As you can see, you can find the emergency order A19 right here on this table next to the data review terminal. And if we read this, as you can see, it states, To all remaining staff, you are hereby required to enact Emergency Order A-19. Destroy all non-communications terminals. Run Procedure T-79AC on communications terminal. Destroy all hard copies. Evacuate and maintain silence. And at the bottom, what makes this different than all the other Emergency Order A-19s that you can find around this place is that it states in the bottom right no I don't think so someone needs to know which I'm assuming whoever wrote this was the person who wrote in this data review terminal anyways next I wanted to show you what's on this review terminal this terminal helps explain a little bit more over what took place here but anyways as you can see the radio logs are offline and the satellite data are offline however we can still review the messages on this terminal. First one I'll be reading is the satellite adjustments. As you can see this log reads, we will be making some remote adjustments to the satellite shortly, which will account for a gap in the data when it gets to you. Just wanted to give you a heads up so you wouldn't worry like last time. The wars got everyone on edge, but to my knowledge there aren't any foreign armed forces in low orbit space tampering with our equipment. Anyways, next up here is deep space logs. This says, Lucius wants the next batch of logs reviewed by the Monday morning meeting. Sorry to ruin your weekend, but we've got to move fast on this. As you know, we have limited windows to gather this information, so it's important to finish trawling the data before the next test so we can make any necessary adjustments and move on. Hmm. 
Next up here is incoming data dump. Heads up, big test scheduled for early this afternoon. The team at the National Isolated Radio Array has finished their calibrations and they are on standby. According to Lucius, this one might be our cleanest signal yet, so be prepared for a buttload of data coming your way. So it seems like they did find something, because in this next log that's titled Something's Weird, check out what this says. It's weird, right? I know we were told not to talk about it, but I can't be the only one, right? They can't expect to keep it secret forever. I haven't been sleeping since. I'm pretty sure Michael's noticed my performance slipping, but I feel like everyone's been acting a little weirded out recently. Even the higher ups. Maybe I shouldn't worry. Maybe it's nothing. You've been reviewing the data though. What do you think about it? Yeah, so obviously they found something out within the data. Anyways, next up here is security reminder. As you can see, this one reads, any employee communicating with anyone below their clearance level about any classified information will be immediately terminated and prosecuted to the fullest extent of federal law. If you are not sure if your communication follows this mandate, be safe and say nothing at all. Thank you for your cooperation in making this facility a secure and safe place to work. Huh. Now for the last log here. Retirements. This one reads, I'm sure it's nothing. We go seven years without a single retirement. Then suddenly, half a dozen people retire in the span of two weeks. They're all relatively young. And they've all moved to remote places to be with family. Even Chris Murphy, who I'm pretty sure doesn't have any living family. I mean, it's possible. I certainly don't think there's anything weird about it. Nothing I'd ever say to anyone outside the office, that's for sure. I certainly don't want to retire. So yeah, that's the logs on this terminal. That gives us a little bit more information over what took place here. Pretty interesting. Whatever the researchers discovered above this place in orbit, whatever it was, obviously was unsettling to them and made a lot of them go into retirement, as we read in the terminal logs, and also wanted to keep it top secret. I would love to know your guys' theories over this. Was it aliens? Does it have something to do with the simulation theory? I mean, what do you think it was? And if you have any other clues on what this was that they did discover, um, feel free to jot it down below in the comments. At the moment, this is all I really know about all of this that took place here. Yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and it was something interesting to you. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.